Hello, beautiful mutants. It's Bill Camarada, and you're watching Bill's Box of Sound. And welcome to the second volume of my Devo Collection videos. This one's going to center on live recordings. We're talking about albums and CDs of the live experience of the De-Evolution band, Devo. So, keep those energy domes tight on your heads and get ready for Devo. Now, this first one's kind of hard to see in most lights for photography reasons because it's all plastic and you get a lot of glare. I'm talking about Devo Live. Now, this was released after the Freedom of Choice album and Whip It was starting to get airplay on American radio stations and Devo was doing a lot of live shows, TV appearances, and of course, recording. This is a four song EP that was distributed as a promo only. It's called Dave O Live and it was distributed originally only in a poly bag container. Eventually it was released as a six song mini LP in both the US and worldwide, like this. And here's the back cover. And here are your labels. The six song EP was also issued on CD in Japan. There it is, Devo Live. I'll quickly show you the booklet. And of course, your OB strip, your Japanese liner notes, and your lyrics. Then in 1999, Rhino Records, as part of their Rhino Handmade program, which was where you could order limited editions of hard to find or never released recordings, made this available. This was a CD of Devo Live, but it went back to the beginning. The record was originally released as a recording of the King Biscuit Flower Hour, a nationally syndicated live radio program pressed onto a record and distributed to radio stations as the Warner Brothers Music Show. And they had a limited edition on Rhino Handmade of this CD. This was also released in a plastic sleeve. I didn't keep the plastic sleeve. I put it in a jewel box and the disc looks like that. Then record store day 2019, this gets released. Yes, it's the whole concert on blue vinyl. Devo live in 1980 on blue vinyl. There's one side and there is the other side. And of course we can't forget the die cut front cover and the back cover with the honest to God blown up barcode. That's Devo Live. See how the lamination goes on this? Huh? Nice, nice. In 1989, the next official Devo Live album was released. It's this one. Now it can be told. Devo at the Palace, 12988. And it had all these songs on it. It was a two record set. For the first record looked like this on the labels. The second record had a third side that looked like this, but side four said, attention spuds, 
No groove. Do not play. But what was on it? Very cool etching and autographs from our wonderful heroes in Devo. Here's what the hype sticker looked like on the front of it. And of course, the compact disc of the same name. The CD was presented as one continuous program, whereas on vinyl, the ends of the sides and the beginning of side two and three were abrupt cutoffs, as though they were just chopped from the seamless compact disc version. Next, 1992. And in agreement with Ryko Disc, Devo Incorporated releases this. Devo Live, The Mongoloid Years. And it had three different performances. Max's Kansas City, The Crypt, and also the WHK Radio Concert from Cleveland. Here is the disc and another version of the songs that are on that. Here is the booklet. Hope you got all that. There's going to be a test later on. Now, in the year 2012, as part of Record Store Day, from the Devo archives, and this was rescued from a cassette that was found by Devo Obsesso in the Devo archives. Devo New Traditionalists Live 1981 in Seattle. Here's the back cover. Here are the limited edition prints that were inside of them. And here are the records. Yes, a beautiful return to form for Boogie Boy Records. Side one in the dead wax says, it's time for Devo. In the side two dead wax, it says, Man is what man thinks. Side three. Whoa. Brings us the message. Toil is stupid. And on side four, it says, devolution is real. Record Store Day of 2014 found another live Devo nugget released on a picture disc. Butch Devo in the Sundance Gig, recorded in 1995. This also came with a DVD that uh, didn't have the best production values on it. It was kind of hard to watch, but this record was pretty cool. I've lost the DVD. I don't know where it is. I hope to find it again someday. In 2014, Record Store Day was kind to us again as Jackpot Records released this recording from 1977, Devo Live at Max's Kansas City. And here is the back cover, as well as, if you freeze it, the song titles. Here are the record labels, side A and side B. Also, if you have the aforementioned CD of Devo Live the Mongoloid Years, you've got all the music, but this disc does not have the introduction by David Bowie. The year 2015 was rather kind to us as far as Devo Live albums were concerned because Devo had gone out on a tour called Hardcore Devo, 
where they did nothing but play songs that they had written and performed before they ever had a record contract. This is all early, kind of pre-Devo Devo, but it also produced a live album, Hardcore Devo. It originally appeared as a, I believe a Kickstarter campaign. And this is a wonderfully done recording. Two records set also spawned a movie and concert video. Logically, there are four sides to this album. Side one, side two, side three, and of course, side four. The other live Diva recording that we got to see in 2015 was this one from the Futurismo label. It was called Miracle Witness Hour. The front and the back. This is recorded in 1977 in Cleveland, Ohio, live at the Eagle Street Saloon. This had some really cool packaging on it. All sorts of fold out things with great pictures. There is the hype sticker. Another hype sticker. the inner sleeve of the record, side one, and side two. And the record came on many flavors of colored vinyl, of which this one was called Atomic Party. We must repeat. And in 1988, the Gods of Record Store Day bestowed upon us this partially live EP, Somewhere with Devo, which uh, the audio of this was originally put out on a three inch limited edition CD, which I will try to dig up. I know I've got it someplace, but the second side of this, even though the side A was recorded at the same concert <clears throat> as now it can be told, side B was a DJ mix set of the songs, What We Do, Peekaboo, Cameo, and Step Up, bringing us into the future of Devo. And that is all I have for live Devo records and CDs at this time. What's going to be in Volume 3? Well, I got to figure that out, and you'll see it soon enough. Duty now for the future, spuds. And stay awake in the future. It's all about to happen. Well, maybe not, but for the good of all, we hope it does. Had a great time. Hope you did too. Go listen to some Devo.